You know, one of the uh, great things about industrial designers in the entertainment industry uh, is that uh, we know how to communicate things. We know how to make things believable, those unbelievable things believable. And uh, whether virtual or whether real, uh, we can convince a viewer that they are looking something that actually exists. Um, one of the things about the entertainment industry uh, that always struck me and how I sort of got started in this area was uh, I remember that Stanley Kubrick hired industrial designers to design the sets and props for 2001 A Space Odyssey and uh, that film holds up uh, almost 40 years later as, as uh, something that looks believable. Uh, Ideally, yeah, I hope our graduates uh, will be able to find work uh, in this industry. Uh, they uh, have already begun finding inroads into film uh, and television and animation, uh, and I think uh, computer games are uh, just another aspect of that. One of our studios is the game design studio where our students collaborate with students in computer science uh, to create and design uh, new video game ideas. Uh, our students develop the art assets for those games and then uh, work with computer science students to integrate them into the game designs. In my studio class, normally I provide my students various custom-made programs. For example, somebody who has a sketching problem, somebody who has a problem of not matching two-dimensional and three-dimensional effect. And somebody who has a three-dimensional pro uh, problem, I normally provide them to make a speed form. And you can get the reference from animal shape and you simplify shape and create a new speed form. And I also ask my student to make a, a three-dimensional model with, you, with their two-dimensional sketch. While they uh, make a model, they getting understand more about the surface layout and highlight and shape and form kind of things. That is very beneficial to my students. And as a next step, I ask my students, turn your speed form into new paradigm of speed uh, transportation. So it will be fun because you do not consider technology and the engineering problem while you designing this new paradigm of transportation. So it's a little bit radical and conceptual and advanced. So you can focus uh, styling some transportation design with your speed form. So when you make a, another uh, model, you can use a clay as a new material. So when you make a, a Speed form, you can use a blue form and plaster. And later, more advanced design, you can use, I, I can teach how to use clay materials, which uh, provide the students more allowance and freedom to change any time and three-dimensional uh, result. My name is Clayvon Duranlo. I'm a graduate of the Master Program of Industrial Design here at North Carolina State. University, and I'm here reflecting on my experience at the uh, College of Design here at NC State, and um, and the, the environment and how it's helped me grow as a person, as an individual, and uh, as a professional. Um, I feel like the College of Design here at NC State is one of the, the best environments that that I, I've ever experienced in my life. It's uh, the people here are so friendly, and it's it's like being a part of a big family a big design family and everybody welcomes you with open arms from the dean to the janitor everybody treats you the same and everybody's on the same level 
but we know we all know our duties within the college. So. And being in a great environment helps you excel and it helps encourage you to do better in your classes. You can, being somewhere where you're having fun is always good when it comes to like learning or anything basically, working, learning. You don't want to work somewhere where you don't like it just, just as well as you don't want to go to school somewhere where you don't enjoy it. So I think the environment here is one of the greatest. And part of the reason why I chose to continue my master's education here at NC State instead of going elsewhere. Um, it's also in a, in a good location. Raleigh's a great location, RTP. Wake County is one of the top 10 counties in America, um, according to a recent poll I, I saw on the internet. So it's, it's doing great things and it's, it's growing rapidly. And uh, you have different, different places you can use for resources, different universities in the area for like research. And research is a big part of the program um, here as a master's student, you learn. Um, you learn how to deal with materials and processes, how to reduce costs through design. And you learn how to use design to solve the problems of the world. I think that's a good thing. And I think that's helped me as a professional, along with, with other things, such as the uh, professional practice course here it taught me how to deal with like freelance opportunities that I've come across in uh, the recent days. Um, I moved to Atlanta and came across some freelance opportunities in Atlanta and just learn how to deal with people and come up with proposals for designs and how to follow throughout the design process to, in order to create a, a finished product. I think you learn the entire process here at NC State from the sketching to the 3D modeling to the final production. And I think that's a good thing. And some of the people I work with in the past who've, who've been to other institutions really, really uh, have strengths in, in one part of the process and I think at NC State, you become a well-rounded person, and I think that's what helps sell you. It helps sell you as an individual in the, in the market. So, I think that's what I've taken from NC State as a whole. Now, the program itself 